Going on a little bit later here at the spot in Irving, and there's been a, there's a lot of trains going the opposite direction right now, which is a little annoying. I've got cold beer, which uh, ameliorates the situation, I'd say, because I'm getting a little impatient. I want to get on and over with this trip, and I think I'm just going to go get some chicken right now and come back here. I, I'm just pointing out again, I think people get it. This is not some glorious thing. This is where I'm hanging out. Look at this. You want to hang out in these dead leaves for like, I don't know how long. It may be tomorrow before the train comes. Enough about that. I'm here on my own volition. To add some commentary on this, you know, it's not that this isn't cool. I mean, this could be cool. Cool is what people think is cool. I think the problem is that it's very isolated out here and people in general like to be around other people. I'm a person as well and I wouldn't mind some company occasionally. There's never anybody out here. You see anybody here to hang out with? No, no, it's me drinking beer by myself as usual. And it's kind of lame because I mean, this isn't, this could be cool. There's far dumber things you could be doing right now. So, it's a little disappointing. It'd be cool if more people were out here. More interesting, cool, intelligent people traveling around. We're checking out the country. It's your country. It's my country. There's nothing wrong with this. Always just me. I haven't met anybody on this trip by the train track. You know, it's pretty much resigned to just having to throw that garbage backpack on the train with no straps. Look at this. Army Navy store. This is right by where I was waiting. This is the new Stove the Hobo pack. I got the new Army, whatever it's called, pack. I'm gonna try it out. This guy got me one for 70 bucks and it's in pretty good condition. I'll give a free plug here. Porter's Army Navy. That's a good price. That pack can hold a lot of beer and a lot of gear as well. I'm gonna go swap everything out into this pack and uh, continue waiting. Just gotta switch out all this stuff from this pack to this. There's a lot riding on this. This is the military, uh, maybe it's the current issue pack, you know, and I'm testing it out. I'm gonna determine if our troops are getting something that's good quality or garbage, because a lot of mil spec stuff, I hate to tell you, is garbage, even though the troops are using it. Most important question about this pack is, how much beer can I put in it after I put in all my other stuff? I'm thinking you could put probably a 30 pack in there. Following morning here and welcome back to FNBS territory. I've been waiting here, uh, I don't know, like 18 hours. You got this little depot here. This is Irving. This is where the yard going to Tulsa is. There's nobody in there. There's been no sign of activity in this office at all can't say much more it kind of be redundant this is very common with FNBS if you notice uh, basically it's been a long time since I've had a weight of this length and here it is FNBS as soon as you get back to them it's the the lamest railroad in the country by far I'm gonna risk going getting some beer and chicken right now it is a nice location this isn't outrageously miserable with green grass. It does look like it might rain. I'm gonna take this time to try to do a makeshift load of laundry here. A bucket. I don't have a bucket, so I'm gonna try to use this box that I pulled out of the trash can. At the BNSF yard office, nobody's in there. So, rule number one, keep your eyes glued. I was here, I got nasty, disgusting clothes, clothes in there. I put a little soap in there. This cheap dish soap should be fine. Turn on the water, dump a little bit in there. Not gonna last long, obviously, because it's cardboard. I'm just kinda work it all around in here. One thing about being out here, I don't like being dirty and having dirty clothes. It's often unavoidable, but I don't like it. So when I got the chance, you need warm weather to dry it out. You need soap and you need water. And I may use this to actually bathe myself. It's actually working out pretty good. Do a quick rinse. 
idea I've had is having a really durable plastic bag that you carry around with you. And basically, you can put the clothes in there with some soap and water and just shake it. And I've been looking for a bag like that. The last bag I found like that had ashes in it from the uh, mortuary. So maybe I can find something like that. But it's gotta be warm and a breeze helps so that stuff can dry out. So I got everything staged on this prickly bush. Finally, some use for these malicious freaking bushes that go around here. We are officially 24 hours sitting on my arse in the vicinity of this yard with nothing going north. And I've seen four southbounds. I saw a loaded coal and two general manifest as well as a local all come through here. So I don't know, maybe they got directional running. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I think FNBS is, is almost not worth traveling on. This is only happens on one railroad and it is FNBS. At some point I'm gonna get a Greyhound. However, I'm not ready to do that yet. This guy coming through. Yeah, he's, he ain't stopping here. He is not stopping here at all. They may be going slow down at the junction down here. I'm gonna walk down there. No sign of them stopping at the at the depot. Hey, they're down where they're going slower. They're going slow here. That's my train. I gotta get on. Get on this thing, man. This is the last chance of my wits to make up for what's going on. I don't even have any fear either. It sucks. So I'm on the train. I don't like this pack so far. It's too wide. Ordinarily, I can throw the pack up here. It doesn't fit. Stupid, man. Stupid U.S. Army garbage. So far is my opinion of that pack. Little north train stop I think they're doing the crew change up here and I just looked on my cell phone there's a gas station that probably sells cold beer right up past the front of the train so what we're gonna do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get some beer and basically I'm gonna look if there's a, no crew on the train when I get up here I'm gonna make a run for it and if they're on I'll see how close the gas station is taking apart a plane in that scrapyard it's kind of interesting. I don't see a crew on there. This has got to be where they're putting the crew on now. Way north here. That means I've got at least 20 guaranteed minutes to go run and get beer and be back. Stuff is on the train. So we know what could happen if I F up here. So I got to get up here, take a look, and then I'm going to make sure there's not a crew van in sight. From the crew van arriving to the train leaving, 15, 20 minutes. Here at the crossing, there's the train. It's on the mains. He's gonna book it when he, he's not pulling out of the yard track. When he goes, he's gonna go. Gas station's here. Let's go. Really further than it said on the map. It said a mile from where I was standing. We got here. I got three pretty big tall cans. Could ever tell how much to get. But maybe the train's gonna sit there all day and then I'm gonna have to make another trip. And what do we have here? Slowest least priority railroad you can get on for once pays off we got no crew on the train I've got a bunch of beer not have enough beer I'm wondering if I'm gonna need to get another amount of beer at some point what if the things here are dark then what do I do <sighs> I'm looking at this this train could be here all day not happy about that. I was trying, I thought I'd be in Tulsa already. I haven't even left town. I was waiting here more than 24 hours for this. This is absolutely something I don't recommend. Is unless you've got unlimited time, which I don't. I'm just trying to write FNBS on one of their shorter lines. I'm gonna have to make another beer run because I think this is a train that's gonna just sit here again for eight or nine hours. 
So I got a book I'm gonna read. I'm reading The Martian, right in my little log book and everything, but this is it. it I'm sitting on here, it's getting dark. It looks like there's an extreme storm brewing north of here. Could be in for extreme conditions going north. I heard there's a tornado warning and all that stuff in southern Oklahoma. That was a really long wait. Texas. Semblance of sense is now over with FNBS. I'm only 25 miles north of where these things are. And now we're backing up and we're legitimately backing up. I don't know why. We backed up a long way. I'm wondering if we're back in the train all the way home. Making this up, we are legitimately backing up. We backed up about two miles. So maybe the engine's broken? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hate FNBS. After sitting all night, we're backing up. All right, we're headed north again. I'm gonna guess the switch up here was broken, so they had to back out of the thing and get in from the back side and the siding back down in. Northbound, far too long to wait. I'll never bother with this nonsense again. This is the Madel or Madel, Oklahoma crew change area. And it, it'd be nice to get off, look at this. But unfortunately, I wasted so much time in Irving and until basically I started to get up here. I just don't have the time. And this underscores kind of one of the concepts with cargo train travel is uh, unfortunately, a lot of times you end up wasting time at these crappy spots like Irving, and then you don't have the time for this. This is awesome looking. So again, if you somehow have intelligence on how to get on the train and get out of the crappy areas fast so you can get to here, you need to figure that out because this is way better than Irving. All right, I can hear what they're doing. They're tying the train down right now, which means I think there's time to just run up just to go not too far Make a quick run and try to get some more beer and supplies. Well, here's Madil or Maydil. Pleasant little town. These towns are really out of the way. There's not much going on here, but that's a good thing. It's a pretty small town. I think it's only about a thousand people here. 
southern Oklahoma, right near Lake Texoma. Entering Oklahoma, I think one interesting feature is these woods you start to get into. See, this is almost has the appearance of like the northern pine forest, but we're very close to Texas here in southern Oklahoma, but you can see this is thick, kind of near that Ozark area. I don't think we're in it, but you see these aren't really total pine trees, but they're kind of a hybrid. I mean, look at this. Look at this vine thing snaking up there. This Maydill or Maddill yard is one of the nicest spots I've seen to wait for a train. It could just be in those woods. Just due to the way things have been going right now, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave. I waited more than a day in Irving. I don't know how frequently this Houston to Tulsa train runs. That's the one I'm on right now. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going. to tell you this is the worst train this is the worst train by far far margin i can't comprehend how they can be this slow and it doesn't matter now we're stopped again on the main line we were stopped we took about three hours to pick up some cars about a mile back and now we're stopped again for absolutely no apparent reason this train isn't going to make it today up there it's still like 150 miles to tulsa uh, three days three fucking days from Dallas to Tulsa. That's like a 270 mile drive. It's unbelievable. I don't understand how they can pay because they're gonna have to pay for another crew to take this the rest of the way up there. This crew ain't gonna make it up there on 12 hours. It's impossible. We've already been gone six hours and we've gone about 20 miles. I don't get it. I don't know how it works. I don't know how the railroad is in business. I don't understand it, but there's only one railroad that does this and it's FNBS. I'm done. I can't take it anymore, and there's no way to hitchhike, there's no way to get a bus, there's nothing. I am trapped until this thing gets there, and I'm running low on water, and I'm out of food. All right, so I'm up here. I walked up a little ways from where I was sitting on my car. There's obviously some kind of problem. Definitely if you're these guys, because your company is now completely blocked off from access because of this moronic BNSF train. So my confusion is with this railroad. I'd just like to explain a few things. This train has used a bunch of different crews just to get up here from Irving because we went forward about 25 miles, stopped, and another crew was put on to Madill. Another crew was put on to here. Crews can only have 12 hours on the clock. Just 12 hours on the clock, which means that the chances of this train's crew making it the whole distance are getting pretty small. We left at about noon, and it's about 6.30 or maybe even 7. So FNBS, the railroad, has to pay for the crew that took it here, and it has to pay for the crew that takes it to Tulsa. This has to cost extra money. Additionally, you've got the line completely backed up, meaning southbounds also may have crews running out of hours coming down here. You've also got this ridiculousness here. If you notice through here, there's a quarry, and that's building trains. There's outbound trains out of there. So any trains coming out of that quarry are blocked as well. Meaning, this has to be a, an issue for somebody. And yet it just seems to be always what is going on with FNBS Railroad. The problem for me is that I'm completely out of supplies except for two little bottles of water. This road doesn't go anywhere, you know. This goes nowhere. I'd have to give up and hitchhike back to Maddell. I don't have any food. I don't have any beer. It's crazy. It's beginning to be an issue. Now, again, if there's an emergency and I just completely ran out of water, I'd run up to the front engines and I'd, you know, hopefully someone would be in there and I could get some water from them. Point being that this is the most absurd train from hell I've ever been on. This is the train from hell. I've gone basically 130 miles in well over 
24 hours. My theory about why this railroad is definitely the worst in the country, it could just be that it's privately owned. You can't buy stock in BNSF, it's, it's owned by Warren Buffett. Here's some more nonsense going on. This car is just leaking a bunch of sand out. How much of that is just gonna totally pile up here while we wait? It's a very big hourglass. I wonder when time's gonna run out. This car will probably be empty of sand before the train leaves. Look at that, little white shower on the ties there. Thing you've gotta realize about this with trains, if you don't get on a line that runs, you're risking spending all your time in crappy spots like this and not at the cool areas. For instance, I've got a viewer in Tulsa who's offered unlimited beer and unlimited food while I'm there. Well, he's got a few days that he can do it. One of those is today. Today's not gonna happen. I'm spending the night somewhere around here. This is what Southern Oklahoma looks like. It's not bad. Later, just cuts it out of there. And stopped again, less than a mile later. Marooned, marooned till the train leaves. I've got a train. The train's gotta be broken down. We're tied down again a little bit further than where we were. See right in there, there's no crew on board. This guy's here. I think he may be trying to fix something. That guy's railroad, he's got the stripes on his car. There's, there's no crew. So I mean, this is a long time from anything being fixed and I gotta figure out, I don't know if there's any place to get food. I, I have no food. I'm almost out of water. I don't have any beer, obviously. And this is what it looks like. I mean, eventually something's gotta give. We're on the main line. We're not supposed to be here. This is not supposed to happen. They're gonna have to fix this and it's gotta move. We're blocking up traffic from both directions. Piers, they're showing up with another unit faster than I thought. That's the crew van right there. You can't even see me. And we have another engine coming in. Please may this be the end of this nonsense. It's hard to focus because it's dark. He's backing the engine up. All right, they're attached. I'm gonna make my way back to my car. darkest hours tonight. They got a new engine on the point. I'm really hoping we're out of here. I honestly, I'm just going to sleep. I'll wake up wherever. coming in in the very extreme darkest hours of the night in Tulsa. I don't know where to get off. I'm just gonna, if we stop, I'm gonna get off. Probably. That's it, that's the train from hell. And that's it, I've had enough of it. So I got to the spot in Irving at three on Saturday. I waited 24 hours just to leave on a train going north. And this is ridiculous because there were four going south in the same period. I got basically a little bit north of town where the train waited another seven hours. At that point, the train took off and then spent another eight hours further north by about 20 miles. Finally, the train left in the morning on Monday and we got to Madill, everything seemed okay, but then we had to stop because of some kind of engine trouble for on and off another eight to 10 hour waste of time. It's now three in the morning. I've just arrived in Tulsa. The line isn't that bad. I just don't know what to tell you. I think you gotta get it here and go south. The southbound seemed to run. I, I would not recommend that spot in Irving at all. So this concludes the train from hell out.